Hello everyone, welcome back to Solasta Crown of the Magister. We are here deep inside of a dungeon doing several waves of battle in the arena. Currently just kind of balancing up between taking short rests or using the resources that we currently have running like Spirit Guardians and our Magic Paladin weapon. So I have paused the game but I'm going to tell everybody to run straight to here and we're going to try and get into the next wave as efficiently as possible to keep up those resources with what's going on. Come on. I think the paladin's special weapon might be dead. We can check in their inventory when we get a second check. But now we have a whole lot of orcs to fight. Gonna be looking for spellcasters as a priority. There is a shaman over there. That's a crit. That's gonna hurt from an ogre zombie. Who are you hitting? Oh, that's not so bad. Right. Uh, from here. I think it's very much going to be... Uh, can I get the one at the back and the one at the side in? No? Okay, then... Can I go up slightly? That looks good. The one on the left we get, the two closest to us we get. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. 29 fire damage. Not bad going at all. Grimblade coming in. Contested strength against Maestro. Not sure to what end. Oof. Those are some big attacks. Sneak attack against Maestro for plus 76 will be doing it from the Grim Blade. Alright, Orc Scar up next. What's the best piece of help we can offer ourselves right now? Can't, oh, wait, we can do a, a fifth level shatter there, looks like it's going to be helpful yep 29 thunder damage pretty solid give orc scar some inspiration there and then i really want this grim blade to be gone so they don't get another chance to sneak attack in a moment that's gonna help certainly Good. right the aoe damage should get them in a moment Attack of opportunity here. Very dead. Love to see it. Evelyn is up. We haven't gotten a chance to get to the shaman yet, which is its own problem. Three of these guys are going to die to the AoE very shortly, though. So, let's go with a second level inflict wounds right on this guy. 18 damage. Not great, but you know, take it. Winter Wolf takes 10 radiant damage. Going after Maestro because they're prone, I imagine. Cold Breath. I did not see that coming. Uh, invisibility. You can be invisible. I'm not that bothered about the one chance you get to cast a spell while you're invisible. Right. Oh, never Where did this orc archer come from? How long have they been there? Maestro is up. All of this stuff. Oh, we can go for the Winter Wolf. They are not going to die super, super fast. Arcana, Evo, More. Good. Dead. Uh, let's... Can we go after this guy without disadvantage? We can. It's not going to do it, though. Orc Scar. 
We are low on health. I totally acknowledge that. I'm going to hold the rest of my smites. Twintwool's got a lot more HP than I recall. Evelyn. Just got a first level in flip wounds here. That's in that one. Right, block that. Good. Attack of opportunity. I'll take. Good. They're back. Lightning bolt. Is a real bad time. That's a crit. Okay, maybe the lightning bolt was the reason to uh, not. Um, was the reason to worry about using counter spell when they went invisible. One foe down. But, you know, that won't be happening again. Bella, that wolf is done for. We need to get over here to this archer. I won't miss next time. Man, it's not going, not going strong. Deal with them. Fine. Take some cover here. Let's just dash right up underneath them, get them into the AoE. Another victory. Oh yeah. There's the damage that you need. Right, this is open. But I think there's one extra extra round of fighting if we want some stuff. Choice. Round four, defeat your opponents. I think we can take a short rest. We've got loads of mileage out of that Spirit Guardians. We're going to roll all of that HP, a bunch of that HP, a bunch of that HP, a bunch of that HP. Arcane Recovery over here. Give me... Four and a one. And then here, use a power of spell shield for the paladin. I will not forget this. Paladin, we short rested, so you get your sacred weapon back. Why was I worrying about doing this once when we get it back on a short rest? Huh? All right, we've been saving a lot of our spell slots, and this will be why. Clearly, we're going to be wanting some big AoE stuff. Um, can we hit three things right now? Not really. Uh, let's go fourth level shatter here twenty nine thunder damage pretty solid we got all of our bardic inspiration back so some of that for Evelyn Maestro we are stuck under the Minotaur right now This cone is not quite the right shape for that. Uh, honestly, Blight the Minotaur will probably do us a lot of good. Arcana, Necro, wow, or not, apparently. Disadvantage here. Love to see it. Come on, Evelyn. I need your action. 
possibly should have got spirit guardians going up before this round of combat but you know these things happen because yeah spirit guardians is going to go wild in this orientation right here uh let's do it at fourth level again we'll save the fifth level spell slot And we now have some options. I guess we're just going after the zealot that's right in front of us. You cannot defeat me. Take a small smite. And we'll save the level three for any really big crits. Good. I don't even know what I get out of this fight. I hope it's worthwhile. Just about the only loot I can remember from the game is that cog-shaped shield we got a little while ago. Deal with it. Right. Our attacks against the Minotaur will have advantage now. So we can do something like a big inflict wounds in a bit. Uh... Give me one of them. Just a little one. Right, well, the Crimson Spider is vulnerable, but it didn't do a lot of great work for us. Uh, attacks have advantage against the Minotaur. We just don't have anything worth attacking the Minotaur with. How does that go for us? Pretty good. Pretty good fireball. 12 more radiant damage. Thank you, spirit guardians. Good. Love it. Uh, just like a second level inflict wounds at advantage here. Good. Love to see it. What's left? The Zealot, the Crimson, the Phase. Where are we even going to attack that thing? All the way around, apparently. That seems unideal. I'm unbeatable. But hey. AoE. Gonna keep doing great work. 30 damage. 7887 on 48. And back in again. These creatures are not smart. There's a nat one. Off the bard. Honestly, just a shocking grasp here. Good work. Oh, yeah. That is how a bunch of stuff all dies at once. Are we on fire? Hold on. You'd figure they would automatically extinguish themselves after a fight, you know? Uh, I've got chests. Thanks for chests. Amulet and a blood ruby. Choice, leave the arena. Leave the arena. Splendid plate armor. And a primed crossbow. Ritual cast identify on splendid plate is this better than what we're wearing now because i'm always happy for an upgrade plate plus one what are we wearing plate awesome uh so we go from 23 ac to 24 ac 
Goodness gracious, mate. Um, was there some other magic thing amongst all that stuff as well? Hopefully we get a chance to long rest and level up before any else, anything else really big. Alright, we know about studded plus one. This is studded plus two. That's fine. Uh, yes, this amulet needs checking. Can I just right click? No, but if I do that and that and that and that. Good. Amulet of constitution. Amulet of health. Basically what I meant, isn't it? Uh, your constitution score is set to 19 while you wear this amulet. So we are con 14, con 16, con 16, and con 16. So if we attune to this over a short rest real fast. We will see our max health goes from 56 to... we were wearing it, we would learn. 74. Isn't that nice? Okay. I think we're done in that room. Push that button there. That's that done is this going to slide open or anything nothing so simple so i think the arena is locked behind us so we have to leave in this general direction and that's the doorway that i was like this is an exit door not an entrance door etc etc get this block out of the way good is there a chest in here as well, or is this just an exit? Just an exit by the looks of things. Cool. Right, can we fast travel to the long rest site without getting caught at the gate? Play the wise, you fools. Go ahead. Right, well, we're going to take our long rest and level up, obviously. When would we ever not take the opportunity to level up when it's presented to us? Right. Bard, level 10. HP, 5th level spell slot, 1 cantrip to select, 2 spells to select. Bardic Inspiration is now a D10, not a D8. Bard Expertise, at 3rd level, choose 2 skill proficiencies. At 10th level, you choose another 2 proficiencies to gain this benefit. Magical Secrets, choose two spells from any class and include them in your spell list. Okay, choose class expertise. Take Intimidation. That's plus 13 in our important uh, checks there. And Thieves Tools, I will take Expertise, thanks. Choose a Cantrip. Um, dazzle, sure. Unlearn a spell. What do we not use ever? Um, honestly, hideous laughter. Most of the time, we can't use because of things not being humanoid enough. Greater Restoration removes one of those things. Mass Cure Wounds, 3d8 plus Ability Bonus. I'll take that. Um, I want something that will do more damage, really. We don't get any kind of painful stuff up here. Uh, you whisper dreadful words that cause immense mental anguish in your enemies. On a failed wisdom saving throw, they take psychic damage and become frightened until their next turn, moving away if possible. 
on a successful save, they take half as much. 48 psychic damage. Sure. I'll take that. Confusion. Inflicts confused. Freedom of movement. Removes all occurrences of paralyzed and restrained. Stinking cloud. Bestow curse. Fear. Tongues. Um, give me heat metal again, I guess. And then for our magical secrets, we can pick any two spells. So, big choices. Last time it was kind of obvious choices with fireball, or not fireball, uh, counter spell and something. Now we can go up to level fit, level level fifth, fifth level. But what do I want? Cone of Cold, solid. Um, what is Giant Insect? Conjure a giant version of a natural insect or arthropod. Special effects, summon deep spider. Interesting. Dominate beast, conjure minor elementals. Honestly, I think we take Spirit Guardians because it's too good. Just too good. And I'll tell you what we could also take. Spiritual weapon. Because it's not concentration. Alright, I've made my bed. We'll sleep in it. A fifth level spell slot. Divine intervention. You can attempt to request help of your deity with a success of chance 1% per cleric level. And we get a cantrip. Take resistance. Level up Orc Scar. Aura of Courage. You and allies between within two cells cannot be frightened while you are conscious. That's cool. And Maestro. Fifth level spell. One cantrip. Two spells to select. Improved spell shield. Creatures under the effect of spell shield now also gain advantage on all saving throws against spells and magic effects. While the spell shield has zero HP, it can't absorb damage, but its magic remains. All right, a class cantrip here. Uh, give me Ray of Frost for an attack that is not fire-based. And some class spells. Hmm. Conjure Elemental. Conjures an elemental of the chosen element and fights alongside you. If you lose your concentration, the element remains and becomes hostile. Sure, I'll take that. Mostly because I'm thinking about the DLC... We're going to, like, icy mountains. Maybe we want fire elementals on our side. Uh, hold monster, dominate person we have with our bard. Cloud kill. I'm just never really going to utilize, I don't think. What might I actually use? Because this is stuff to learn, not necessarily stuff to have prepared all the time. Be haste. And then we can prepare anything differently. Misty step we weren't using. Haste we'll put on. Conjure elemental we don't need right now. Wall of fire we're not using. Anything to change for Evelyn? No, I think I'm happy. Cool. All right, we are level 10. Now, where's that door? We're edging up to having 100 HP over here. Bardic Inspiration is now a D10, which is incredible. Uh, you, sir, need your armor. Good. We've got AC 20. AC 20. AC 24. AC 20. We are hard to hit. Right, what is back here? I do not remember. That looks like a trap. Very red. Oh, God. I do remember. Those statues look weird. Perhaps. 
But those chests look mighty real to me. But are we entitled to it? What do you mean? So far, we haven't met a living soul in this labyrinth. And your point? That we would be stealing from the owner. Ah, spoils of war. But we want his help, remember? Stealing makes a bad impression, usually. Can we just take a peek first? We don't have to take anything. Just a look, right? Okay. So. I remember this bridge. Because I remember... A fight where... I got shoved off the bridge and died... Into a game over and I had to reload. So with that in mind... Really, really don't want to get shoved off any of these surfaces and killing the things that threaten us is going to be key. Now we can pass by this chest up to this door. Nothing happens. I hear snarling. And there's nothing else in this space. So, a fight it shall be. I don't even think this is locked. We'll try being cautious, though I don't expect it will help me very much. Uh, it might help us. We've got earth elemental, air elemental, earth elemental, earth elemental, air elemental... Earth Elemental. And we have a fraction of a second before terrible things happen. Honestly, let's get this going at fifth level as fast as we can. Bella managed to get her spell off. So we're concentrating on Spirit Guardians. We have six of these things to worry about. What I would really like to do is be away from this bridge. So what I'm actually going to do is dash to here. I think we're going to get seen. We are. But I just don't want to be next to the edge. Uh, Orc Scar, you get inspiration. First air elemental. Don't shove me. Disadvantage. Uh, I hate being at this bridge, man. Um... We can disengage and just move out of the way. Or we can attack. Or we can risk the attack of opportunity. If we take the attack of opportunity, Evelyn will be able to get out of here freely. Good. And then we can dash to our area of effect spell over here. For safety. They don't get two reactions. Oh, we're only a dwarf. We don't move very fast. Have to take it. Then we have two earth elementals ahead of Maestro. Let's cast... Uh, per two slots plus one HP higher is a second level spell. So let's cast this at fourth level. And we'll stick it there. And we can immediately take an attack with that. 19 force damage. First earth elemental doesn't move far enough to attack us. Second one going after Evelyn. They miss. They miss again. 
Maestro, ironically, this is when I would take a misty step if I could. Um, I Do I have dimension door? Not available to me, no. Uh, what if we dash? This guy doesn't get a reaction again. And I can dash all the way back to here. Nothing to do as bonus action. So we just need to get Evelyn backed away from this crowd. Then we can really start on the offensive because so far I've just been terrified of getting shoved off the cliff. Walk it off. Hopefully our AoE stuff here is going to shine with how big and together all of this lot are. Um, do we move up to them or not? It's a great question. We are concentrating on a spell. So we can do this. And that can start attacking on bonus actions. And as for a regular action... Shadow Dagger, that one. Eight psychic damage. Uh, take the attack of opportunity. Strike it. Too slow. Stunned. Good. Right, to us now. Nothing back here I want to do. What I will do is I will set my sacred weapon on. Then let them come to us in a second. First of all, we're going to attack here with this. There's a bonus action. Good. And then I'm going to disengage and move to here. Cool. Now, we can watch the radiant damage just stack up. Disadvantage on that. Thank you ever so much. Right. If I was stood about here, say, how does this cone of cold look? Absolutely incredible. Might be the best cone of cold that's ever happened. Arcana, Evo, well, they made a lot of saves, but it's still a damn good area of effect spell. Good. Better. 26 radiant damage there. 13 radiant damage there. Back to Bella. Our spiritual weapon is here. Let's go after this guy. Good. And honestly... Attacking with a magic short sword seems as good as anything else about now. Yes, take the attack. Baby smite, air elemental dead. Really, really big death rattles out of the uh, the elementals in this game. We are up. I'm going to hit there, please. Thank you. Then I'm going to hit here. Then Evelyn is up. We can get back far enough to hit with our spiritual weapon here. Love to see it. And we still have access 
to a fireball. Now, we're only going to get three of them in this exact configuration, but that seems pretty good to me. 29 damage on two. All kinds of stuff going on. Maestro. Where are we? We're right here. I'd love a lightning bolt down there, but I'm not going to get it. Blight. He's got the most HP. I'll do this air elemental over here. 15 necrotic damage. 13 more radiant. We get slammed with a crit. And a 27 back to back. Lock that, please. Ow. That is rough. We succeed on our concentration checks. We have plus 12 to them. So, you know, you'd expect them to go pretty well most of the time. Good. Bad. Orc Scar, who's most healthy? This guy. And then who's most healthy? That guy. You can't win. Right. They should all die immediately. I'll take an extra swing over here, just in case. Miss. How about... One of those. Alright, plus five on their deck save. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. It's about what we expected. Lots of stuff for us and our creating of things. Is there actually anything in this chest for us now? Uh, a magnificent shield, plus two AC. Is that more magic than it first appears? Oh, stand next to one another. You silly folks. Ritual cast, identify here, this thing. Bright wall. What is a bright wall? Um, plus one to AC. Cast light at will. Cast daylight once per day. Plus two to AC. Requires attunement. 5,000 gold's value. You are the only one who does not have a magic shield who is using shields. So we will hand this off to you. You can mark it with your deity. Not that we really need to, but it's done now. We will short rest for an hour. Mostly to attune, but also get back all the other bits and pieces that we get. So we are attuning to this shield. Uh, arcane recovery. Give me a fifth level back. Yeah. Uh, you can roll for some HP there. You can roll for some HP there. You can roll for some HP there. Right, so how's your AC looking now? 21. We have armor effects plus 2 AC, plus 1 to AC. So our AC now 15 from a blessed plate 1, plus 1 dex, plus 3 from bright wall, plus 1 sigil of abjuration, plus 1 blessed by the herald. Cool. All right then, door. Wait. That door's going to have to wait for next time. For now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.